buy the drink. Hurry up and, uh. Well, I think, I mean, I did a. I did a. I did do a no prob. I did do a no prob. I have no gun in my hand. So, what I'm gonna have to do is, with no gun in my hand, put on a show for all you fine ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and do my utmost to survive with no gun in my hand and make it downstairs to buy a cheap $200 weapon. Can he do it? What's going on everybody? Ram and Jamma Taylor here. Welcome back once again audience. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be chilling out playing some Call of Duty World of War. Something that I haven't played in a long time or made a video on in a long time. Just really haven't been playing video games that much and uh, figured why not. So I hope you guys uh, stick along. It might be a five minute video. I might fail. Might make it around five and that'll be, that'll be it. Or it could be a 72 hour video and I'll make it to level 400. Who knows? But uh, it's the off season. We're gonna do some gaming stuff. So if that's up your alley, then come on and rally. Hit me with a like and a subscribe if you're into this type of thing. If you like just watching people play video games, uh, if that's your thing, then uh, you're more than welcome to hang out here. So alrighty, we're gonna start it off. We're just gonna play uh, just some of the basic maps here. One of the first content releases, Map Pack One, Zombie Varuk, one of my personal favorites, and uh, we're just gonna. Have fun, shake the rust off, and uh, you know the drill if you played with me. Oh, we spawned on my not so good side. Again. There we go. I'm going to throw in a command CG underscore FOV85. That way I can see better at what I'm shooting. And, uh, you know, I met a lot of great people playing this game. Uh, a lot of great friendships were sparked playing this game. Something as little as just sh shooting zombies. And, uh, people coming together to work towards a common goal. And, uh, little did I know that, uh, you know, I'd go on to meet some of these people in real life and they'd go on to, you know, be one of my greatest, you know, all-time friends and, uh, you know, changed my life. So this game, I owe a lot to this game, even though it's just a game, but the people I've met through it, that's the, that's the whole reason I play it. Um, it's just a solid one. There's Mickey Mouse. And we're going to push through the rounds, no need to make crawlers, I'm a one man band, we're playing solo, so you know the plan, gonna rack in a couple hundred thousand. I wish. <laughs> this video is dedicated to everybody I ever played with for sticking with me, not only just in the game, but if you're watching here on YouTube. Uh, or maybe you're just a college uh, sports fan, or maybe you're uh, one of my gaming buddies, or just a gamer who likes to watch people play games. Drop a like, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, this is up your alley. Um, stick around, make yourself here at home at Rambo Jamma Taylor Studios here, the zombie infested zombie Varuk. So we need to hurry up. Shoot the zombie right there. Not going to be totally doing a full commentary this whole way. I may break in silence and concentration. But, uh, it just feels weird playing a video game in general. Again, I haven't played any video games in quite a while, so it's kind of. kind of feels weird. Shaking the old rust off, but watch those windows behind me. 
Now, if you had like you know a couple thousand, you, in general, you could honestly have already been upstairs by now. Um, I just like to get a few extra points so I can grab the Bettys as well and an MP40, and uh, that'll help pave the way pretty much the whole entire way. So, uh, not really worried about that instant kill. up, get some points going. Alrighty. Got the stairs cracked. Grab the MP40. We're good to go, and I'll grab Betty's here soon. I'm getting stuck on everything the walls, the railings. <sighs> I love this game. the bouncing Bettys are right here and if you know me you know me well you know what I like these Bettys for and if you're playing solo there's only one way to do the gun glitch so we used to down ourselves to do it all the time Everybody's been doing good. Everybody's been having uh, a very good weekend so far. And we are going to hit the door. Made a little crawler right there, we'll grab that. Grab the Bettys. And we are set. Now I just gotta kill the stupid little zombie pet. Alright. We're gonna bust our way in here. We have a straggler around here. Not sure where he's at though. There you are. So yeah, sometimes I might just break out in utter silence, just trying to concentrate. And you'll be staring at me, and I'll be staring at that, and we'll be staring at the staring. So. Might as well. Might as well grab it. I'm not going to waste any time to get Juggernog. None at all. There's no need to waste any time on that. It 
think it's really rough. There you are. Oh yeah. I love you so much. I'm even wearing you. That's right. Juggernog. Ooh, that's the stuff. Get away. Reload. Got one more somewhere. I don't know. I hear it. It's down there in that, uh, down these stairs. All right. I can hear a zombie about a mile away. <laughs> Level six. We're breaking out. We're just playing on the sticks. Juggernog. Trying not to get caught up in a fog. Taking them down. Looking around, going through the kitchen to see what's around. All right, I'm at 240. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill in here. Come on. Need to rack up on points real bad. Somewhere around here, there's another straggler. Let's see where you're at. Wow. I guess it'll come out whenever it's ready. I don't know where it's at. Here's Mickey Mouse, once again. All right, where's it at? Are you serious? Oh, it's freaking crawling dragon right there, two of them. Oh. My. We're losing time. We're losing time. Trying to get this going. Uh, saw it crawl this way. And it went in there. What happens when it goes in there? I don't know. Hello? Where you at? We're playing cat and mouse zombie. Alright, I guess since we have this time here, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and hit the box. I'll, I'm this superstitious. I'll do like no problem does. I'll hit it and I'll just run out of the room. And he turns around and he comes back. <laughs> 
Oh, that's pure disappointment. Yeah, that sounds about right. This stupid box, I hate it. Oh, what a waste. There should be a crawler somewhere. I don't know where what's going on. Hello? Where you at, man? I know it can't hear me, but... This is getting ridiculous. This has happened before. There you are. You're done. Oh, what? What? Uh, finally. Like I said, I was trying to get these rounds going. Trying to get them going by quick. I'm not even worried about these windows. Take it. Now I can do what I really want to do. My all time favorite right here. I love it. It is my fave. Only thing about it when going for it, it puts you in this position the stairs is going to be busy traffic so we're going to try to beat it oh I got to reload alright alright we made it just in time before they got to the stairs that's always good when that stairwell gets clogged it's bad whoa no you don't run out here, take them out, and we'll be on the level 8 here now. Alright, I don't want that instant kill. So far so good, going into level 8. Let's try it one more time. Man. So by now I really should have did the gun glitch, so that's what I'm going to work on doing next. Just saving up some points for that. camp right here and you can camp anywhere but this is my favorite area nice and once you open up this door as long as you don't open up this door and keep it closed they don't come from this right here and you and your team can just stay parked right here and all you have to worry about and concentrate your fire on is right here at 12 o'clock Unless one of you know you or one of your buddies steps out and starts going this way, then it's going to cause their programming to go from both doorways. And uh, as long as you keep it to the right, you'll have a straight line, and uh, you can really hit it into the high rounds. Uh, but when you're solo, like I am, uh, it's going to get pretty. It's going to get pretty bad. So there's going to be a lot of times where I'm going to have to come over here and cut all of them off, and then get back to where I can cut them back down so we're going to try to uh, man we need to get the box going try to get something decent oh almost had the ray almost had the ray gun that close that freaking close oh 
Oh, that's nice. That's even better. Oh, that's great. And I can hurry up and do the con glitch. Got two Bettys. Just gonna throw one down. Hold the Betty just in case anybody, by you know, the off chance nobody has ever done this before. You're new to the game. You got one Betty. You hold it. Let go. Buy the drink. Hurry up and uh. Well, I think I may have did a. I did a. I did do a no prob. I did do a no prob. I have no gun in my hand. So what I'm gonna have to do is with no gun in my hand. Put on a show for all you fine ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. And do my utmost to survive with no gun in my hand. And make it downstairs to buy a cheap $200 weapon. Can he do it? We will see. What is this guy thinking? Is he crazy? He might be. But he made it. And they're coming heavy. Oh. missing an arm so I'm not gonna make him a crawler um, but for just one minute whew. it's all in the hips it's all in the hips <laughs> get off me oh, I love that movie happy Gilmore all right we just I'm sorry that that was nice I was able to pull that off. That was pretty dire straights right there. Whew, hang on, I need a second after doing what I just did. Oh, I got. Oh, let's hit the box. Crash. So, uh, I'm going to go for the sure thing, get more Thompson ammo. And it's already level 10, and it's getting pretty serious. So, uh, we're good on that. There's no sense of hitting the box again. We're going to go into the next round. Level 11. Two perks so far, Juggernaug and Speed Cola. Not gonna worry about that box. Almost hit it. Oh, get out of there. Almost then went in there and hit that box, but I didn't. There's times where <sighs> it just depends, you know, th through the years we've had a lot of crazy games and it even freaks me out because I don't understand, but I somehow can be the Chris Angel of Call of Duty World of War Zombies doing some weird stuff and just timing it right and just 
from playing this game for so long, most of my childhood. Oh God, I, you know, some of it just. <sighs> it's a fun game. So let's go ahead and throw a grenade and make a zombie here. Yeah, I played Black Ops Zombies and Black Ops 2 Zombies. You know, we all we all hopped on the next game when it came out. All the friends on my old 360 friends list and everybody. I mean, back in that day. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, we would. But ah, man, I just see. I guess I was just that one that kept coming back to World at War, and uh, I just never realized how many people kept playing it. And um, I still need to play some Black Ops 3. So we're good. We're gonna hit the box one more time. We're probably gonna get a teddy bear. Uh, would not be surprised. Nope, we're gonna get something worse. I almost had the brownie 1919. Almost. Wow, man. Almost had it. I knew it. So we're going to go. I'm going to call it. It's going to be downstairs. Let's see. Let's look. Probably going to be next to me. Nope, upstairs, up top. All right. Oh, yeah. Don't you love getting in the game with that one person who just... Can you see? Are you doing okay? Can you see? Can you see when I'm spraying you and blinding you? You having fun? Are we are we doing are we doing it? <laughs> are we doing it? <laughs> uh, I'd rather have this than that. We always we've we've all gotten that game with that one person who just. Uh, Abuses that damn flamethrower. I hate to say it. But damn. All right. You saw me spaz right there. It's because I realized I need ammo for this Thompson. So I was like, Oh God, I don't have enough. Oh, I should have checked that. I really don't want to start from down here. I really do not. Oh, it's alright. Come on, come on. Alright, got it, got it, got it, got it. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And if the round changes, you can quickly throw down a Betty if it's not too late. Oh, it's too late. But if you do it in between rounds, you can uh, take advantage of that and get more than what you bargain for for Bettys. And we usually like to stash them over here. And, uh...
try to make it back to the box really, really quick like. Ah, you gotta be out of here. Come on. Come on. You gotta, be, you, gotta be, you gotta be joking. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be fooling me. I'll take that. Oh. I thought I timed it good right there. Start so far, level 14. Got the MG42 mowing them down. And, uh, not too bad. 15. Let's throw down that Betty like I was talking about. Got two. I can drop one. And, uh, boom, back to two. And put another three down right there so in two instead of two every round you can get three every round if you'd like to make a crawler so I can get that box. It may not be the last one, okay. So I'm gonna try to move him right there. Didn't make a crawler. Don't have no grenades. So those are the last two. So I'm gonna go down here. Come on. Oh, I forgot they're right here. Wow. It's been a while. It's been a long time. Alright, let's try to see if we can make them a crawler. Sweet. Now we're going to hit the box. See if we can get something decent going. I'll take that. I will definitely take that. And, uh, I don't see what it would hurt maybe getting another gun slot but not right now I could look and see if I can get a ray gun I got the points let's just see if the box wants to be nice no alright I'm happy with what I got That ray gun will splatter me and probably kill me if I get it too close to me shooting it, so it's probably best to stay away from it for right now. Probably best. I need a max ammo. Really bad. Level 16, they're hitting the kitchen heavy. 
Making some serious points here with the PPSH, racking them out. It's best to really save this gun and only use it during double points, because once you use it during double points, it's just perfecto. Uh, man, that max ammo. Would, oh, that'd be sweet right now. So we're going to have to make do with what we got right now. Oh no. Whoa. I, that could have been the game. I need a second to calm down from that. That could have been a game right there. Oh, please. Oh. Thank you. So we're hanging in there. We're heading into round 18. Things are getting intense. I'm stuck on the corner again. Great. Love it. They used to say if you were able to knock this lampshade to the floor, it would make the game a whole lot more aggressive. Now, I don't know if it's true, but I remember one time we did it. And that was a pretty mean game. I, I can't really explain, but we were able to throw grenades at it, get it to bounce. And it just happened. And it did seem like the game actually got harder. So I don't know if that's just an old wise tell from Treyarch or anything like that. But There's a whole lot of stuff. I'm out. That's it. Wow. Gotta do something. We're down to a Nats fanny right now, so we need to find something. We're down to, we're skimping for sh Shino. Shine oil. Alright, we're done. We're heading into 19. We're going to see what the box wants to do. All I need is a Thompson and a long run. And yeah, that's not looking good. Uh, not looking good right now. So what we're going to make do with what we got. And we're going to try to improvise. Uh, I hate to do it. Almost, well, I should have grabbed it. But it was, I had my MG pulled out and I wasn't going to trade that. All right, Thompson, and we're gonna have to do a lot of this. Oh man! That'll work, that'll work, that'll work. Oh no. Oh, level 19. I would have hit that instant kill totally. But, uh, hey, that was fun. And it's probably a good thing this video is not like an hour long. But definitely, we're going to be uh, doing more zombies on here. First game back playing. Not too bad. Hey, it's 19, considering I was by myself. So, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't really played zombies solo by myself in a while, so uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to be doing other gameplay videos on this channel, so thank you so much. And uh, if you enjoyed it, drop me a like, and I hope you have a, a blessed night, day, wherever you're at, wherever you are around the world. 
Peace.